I can explain. Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I am going to be unboxing Girls and Panzer figures, but where are they? You might be wondering. They're on the floor. I wanted to be a little bit dramatic and fun with this, so we have Darjeeling. We have anchovy. We have another Darjeeling. Can you guess what the next one is? Another anchovy. There's a reason for this nonsense. Um, and I will get into it in a moment. Oh, I'm like Jack Nicholson. <laughs> so why in the world do I have four figures, two of which are the same? There's a long story that goes with this. It has to do with face plates, but also an entire plan I have outside of unboxing these. These are the Kotobukiya Girls in Panzer and Coco's Restaurant collaboration. Coco's Restaurant is a restaurant in Japan, I believe it's a chain, that likes to collaborate with different um, anime franchises. So this is not just a Girls in Panzer restaurant, they do other things as well. You saw me unbox my Niho in the last video, if you haven't, go ahead and check that out. This is something that they do every now and then with characters, and I was so happy to find out that they made Darjeeling, but most importantly Anchovy, because Anchovy's my favorite. The reason though that I did get two of each is because I do have a DIY planned for them. No, I'm not hanging them to the ceiling like the Strike Witches, that would be dumb. I am, however, going to be repainting two of them to match my kitchen. And if you don't know, my kitchen's theme is very much Halloween and pumpkins, so they will be Halloween themed. I'm going to go ahead and begin unboxing Darjeeling and we can talk about the differences between each of these because there are actually differences between each of these figures. The anchovy differences are a little bit more um, extreme. It's not really extreme. They're different face plates, okay guys? They're, they're different faces. It's not that crazy. So these are the two Darjeelings. The biggest difference between these is the condition that they are in, plus the one has a faceplate, the other does not. The boxes are the same, so I'm only going to rotate the one for you. She has a very cute design, a very cute box. She was actually the first one from this set that I saw, and I had looked her up because I had found the Sayori one that I had unboxed again. Watch my other video if you want to see that. I was like, are there any other maid cafe outfits for the girls in Panzer Girls? And sure enough, there were. So I found Darjeeling's first, thought she was really cute, went ahead and ordered her. I did not realize at first that she came with an extra faceplate. Totally my bad. I've decided to go ahead and pick up another one in way worse condition but with the faceplate in order to be able to paint them to look Halloween-y because I thought that would be a lot of fun. So anyways, let's go ahead and open these up. This is also going to be kind of interesting because this is a C rated figure for actually being broken so I'll probably have to fix her before I paint her. Regardless, let's go ahead and unbox this one first and then we'll go ahead and see the damage in that one. So these are actually super easy figures to find. They're not rare at all so if you're interested in them Highly recommend picking them up. I want to say they'll run you a little bit under a hundred bucks. I think I managed to find them for 70, between 70 and 90, except for this one because she was super cheap due to the breakage. I also have to be completely honest and tell you, I got these a while ago. And I have a few things that I've kind of just saved in order to do unboxings. So because of that, I can't tell you if their price is still that necessarily, but Hopefully it's still around that price. Got lots of plastic on her. And she comes off of her base. So with the Miho that I had unboxed last time, come here little Miho. She's actually screwed into her base and she's part of the same line even though she looks like a cheerleader. I'm kind of surprised Darjeeling's not attached to her base, but it also makes it super easy for me. So here she is. I am very impressed with these figures, to be totally honest. I was very impressed with the Miho one. There's just so many small details all the way down to her name tag, to the little frills on every single part of this. The shading is really nice in her skirt. Again, for the version that I'm going to be painting over, I'll be painting over that and hopefully making it look just as good. Let's go ahead and get her tea set on. So the tray is attached to her hand, it looks like. Her hand kind of wiggles a little bit, which I'm not a huge fan of, but that's okay. Then she's got a little teacup, which is empty. Ah, she came off her base very easily. I was lifting her straight up, but you know, just, just saying. And there are little holes in the tray for them to go into. So let's go ahead and do that. Just like that. They stay pretty well. 
extremely well. Yep. <laughs> They're not going anywhere, so you're, you're good there. You don't have to worry about those falling off. There's like little pieces of hair coming out of the way she did it, and I absolutely adore that. It's just little details like that that make this so much higher quality. I do have to say, it looks like her neck has a really bad jo Oh. That's why. So her head can come off. Do you think Anchovy's head can come off? I'm gonna swap their body so quick if her head can come off. Her head was just kind of loose, I guess, but when you push it down all the way, you can't tell that her head comes off, so. Awesome. Definitely highly recommend her. I think she's really cute. I'm not as impressed as I thought I would be, but I think that's because I was so impressed with the Miha one. I'm also just very excited to unbox Anchovy, just gonna be very bluntly honest. B condition from Amiami. So let's go ahead and see what that's all about. I believe her leg is broken. She came with the extra faceplate. So we'll be putting that on the one that's not broken. I'm putting her off to the side so that way I don't break her. So her extra face just comes in a little piece of plastic. These things are the bane of my existence. So, oh, never mind. This one's easy. Oh, awesome. Thank you, world. Let's get the directions out here, even though I obviously know what I'm doing to an extent. I guess it's a good thing, because I don't know. My own strength, it just ripped them in half. All right, never mind, that's a garbage. Unrelated. If you shop at Amiami, have you ever seen something go up for decondition? Because I've never seen that. The other one had like all those little extra pieces of plastic. This one's just got like a whole little plastic baggie on it. Very wobbly. So I believe it's a leg issue. off of there easily. What? Oh! Is it this piece? Are you serious? Yeah, this piece broke. I thought our whole freaking leg was gonna be off. <laughs> it was so much cheaper too. You know how easy that is to glue? Wow. Okay. I will say she does seem a little bit more wobbly. Like I don't feel as comfortable, I guess, winging her around. We can wing the, for the tea set though. I'm sorry, Darjeeling. So I, uh, I found her hair. I, I gotta find her face, hold on. So the good news is that there's no paint transfer and I can tell you for a fact, she's pretty damn durable. See, I think people don't realize how durable figures really are. <laughs> Like people are like, oh no, I don't want to drop my feet. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. Then those little tiny little pieces of her hair didn't even fall off. Oh, she looks so cute. Look at that. That's adorable. You know what I thought? Cause so Ami Ami doesn't take pictures of like what's busted. You gotta take your chances with it. So it's like, oh, see condition, leg broken. And it's like, hmm. So I actually assumed it was gonna have broken like up here, like on her, where her leg attaches to her panties, but uh, not so much. I actually am not really sure which I prefer. I might just prefer her with her normal face. I mean, I do plan on repainting them. So I'm still glad I got them. Looking at the two though, I see no defects in paint. They look exactly the same. I think they look fantastic. I'm also kind of partially tempted to take the tea off of like the tray and put some like gross food <laughs> because they're really can't cook, but I don't know, probably not. I really think she's adorable. I think she's cute. I, again, 
thought I was going to be more excited for this one. I'm I'm not like disappointed like this is a bad figure or anything. That's not what I'm trying to allude to at all. It's just more so I really thought it was going to be even more exciting. I definitely highly recommend these if you're a Darjeeling fan though. Something else that I just noticed that's actually kind of interesting is that Darjeeling is missing like that little shine in her eyes. You see how Miho, even though her eyes are closed, she has like that little shimmer. Darjeeling doesn't have that. And what's interesting about that is different manufacturer, but if you saw my last video, even Sayori actually has that in her winking eye. So I almost feel like if that was added, she'd look a little bit cuter. Before we continue on with the unboxings, I wanted to go ahead and show you all some merch I picked up. So these are all clear files from Girls and Fanzer and Coco's Restaurant Collaborations. This is for both Der Film and Das Final. I picked these all up on Yahoo Auctions, and I believe the way it worked was that if you ordered food at Coco's, you would go ahead and get a clear file. And so some people were collecting these and selling them. Clear files, for those of you who don't know, are just these little plastic folders that you can put like two sheets of paper in. They're pretty useless, but they're very adorable. So if you wanted to use them as like little posters in your room, think of them as laminated artwork. With that over with, let's go back to the unboxing. Anyways, now we're moving on to anchovy. Now this is actually even a little bit more interesting and I'm so excited. I love anchovy. Both of these actually have an extra faceplate. There were different versions of this released. There was an exclusive male only faceplate that you could get with this figure. That faceplate is a little bit harder to find, um, but when it does go up, I did find her for the same exact price as the other one. So I wouldn't say it's like rare in the fact that, oh, it's rare, you're gonna have to spend so much money to get it. If you're waiting for it to come up on Ami Ami, it will be the same price as the normal bonus face, which you'll see as well. I really do like these boxes, but I don't plan on keeping them because I just don't have the room to keep every box that I like. So I will be, what's well, that dropper? I also forgot to mention on Darjeeling's that the insides, they're all the same of these Coco restaurant ones, but they have like a wooden floor and this actually, along with having the company's logo, looks like it's wallpaper. It's very cute. It's a very cute box design. Good job. She also is not attached to her base. Oh, now she is adorable. <gasps> actually, is she attached to her base? Okay, you can't see a screw like you can with Miho, but I can't get her off. All right, I'm gonna break her if I pull too hard. Especially being me, I'm gonna break her. So here she is. She is so cute. Oh my gosh. She does kind of wiggle on this face, which makes me think maybe it does come out. I don't know, I'd be careful with the base. I also have a little bit of a fear of this leaning over time. And when I say fear, I mean I don't really care. Um, it just might happen. <laughs> so I feel like mentioning it to you all. I really, really, really like her. I think she is so cute. All the way down to the little details. Again, just gorgeous. Especially the hair. The hair on these is just perfect. It's a much smaller box than the other two. Oh god. Okay, this one's gonna be difficult. I promise I won't hurt myself, everyone. I promise. 
Now I'm gonna really hurt myself because I promised I wouldn't. And I still don't have towels up here. Oh, or band-aids. I guess I should worry about the band-aids. I always worry about the mess. Here is the standard faceplate that she came with. This was not the one you had to mail in for or anything. You get a pre-order bonus faceplate if you pre-ordered at a certain time. I don't recommend, by the way, pre-ordering Girls and Panzer figures. I've mentioned this before. Mainly because they generally go down in the aftermarket. If you see a Girls and Panzer figure go up where there's a connecting piece to connect two figures, then pre-order it. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother. Here she is with her other faceplate. It went in fairly simply. And yeah, this is just the standard little winky face. I do think I like the winky face over the standard one, so I do recommend that. I don't think that the standard one has anything wrong with it. I just think that this one's kind of like, haha, yeah, I, I like it. Nothing too crazy. Here you can see the standard versus the winky one. I think they're both really cute. I do think I like the winky one better than the standard, but I also think that, you know, if you couldn't find the winky one, that the standard one is totally okay. Well, now let's just go ahead and put the exclusive face with it. But when it's not actually on her face and connected to her, she looks kind of mad, which is so, so DJ, right? <laughs> but the actual promotional images made her look a little bit like, huh? Like, you know how she gets kind of flustered, I guess? That's kind of what I would explain it as. With this one, it does seem to be easier to... Oh! She okay, Duce? Good. You're good. I'm putting the face into the hair first because that's the way it comes out. I assume that's for a reason. I love this face. I had, when I saw that this was like an exclusive little piece, I wasn't planning on picking this up. I didn't even know it was a thing. I saw it went up on Ami Ami and I was like, what is that? Why does she have a different face? I think this face is my favorite. So these are the two exclusive base plates you could get. I don't even know which one I'm gonna put up here and which one I'm gonna like paint to put downstairs. I almost feel like I need another Duce, which is, you know, I would, I would. If you don't know the character, you probably think I'm insane for getting to, but I might actually consider in the future, if I find her broken for a really good price, I might just get another standard one because these are just so cute. Highly recommend anchovy. I think anchovies is much better than Darjeeling's, but again, I, I'm a sucker for Duce here, so I can't, I can't help it. Alrighty, so that is it for this unboxing and review. I hope you all enjoyed. If you are interested in seeing other Girls in Panzer figure unboxings, go ahead and subscribe. I assume if you made it this far, you must somewhat like me. And right now I happen to be mostly collecting Girls in Panzer figures because I'm a little bit obsessed. But if Girls in Panzer is not your thing, don't worry. I also go ahead and just unbox and review whatever I feel like, along with other little videos sprinkled here or there, because I can't just do unboxing all the time, folks. As I mentioned before, I do have a DIYs planned for two of these. I will be painting them to look Halloween-y. I'm gonna separate them and do one at a time because it's gonna be a lot of work. Hopefully they turn out well. Regardless, it will all be recorded for your enjoyment and amusement. So if I mess up royally, Hopefully you enjoy that just as much as if it turned out nicely. You'd probably prefer it turns out nicely. I would personally prefer to not fail, but we, you know, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. It is what it is, right? I mean, I mean they're just pieces of plastic. It's, it's okay. We, we can always fix them in the end. 